year's artist in residence for movement festival which as we all know is postponed temporarily hopefully yes so this work behind me is a mural I did last year called strange detour it's kind of a story about some friends of mine from Windsor they were immigrants that moved here and I'm gonna give you a tour of my studio and just a bit of my process and my lovely girlfriend kitty cat Kate over here is going to be assisting me so hopefully we don't all up for you guys so let's give it a go Already it up. all right like I was saying this is a mural that we did last year and it's pretty big it's like about a hundred feet by 35 40 feet so what I do is I use stenciling and spray paint freehand spray paint so this is a mixture of those techniques and when the movement festival happens again which it will i will be doing a beautiful mural at heart plaza for you guys and we'll also be doing a bunch of like art installations and a bunch of different activations and i'm gonna pass the camera over to my lovely girlfriend kate so that you guys can see my mug. Am I recording? Is it recording? It's recording. It's recording. So this one I did about five years ago. It's kind of relevant right now. A little bit more. I'm getting better. alley I should have said this earlier but we're in the alley behind my studio and that's about five minutes from Detroit so we're just across the river we're actually south of Detroit so we're south of Detroit it's like that song the foreigner song alley that we started about 10 years ago and there's artists from all over the world have stopped through here and just friends have made and stuff and so we get them to paint and this is always changing it's kind of a fun little alley for our city so this guy right here this guy's name is Dom and he's a friend of mine he painted this awesome parking cone up there is Mr. Tabar Zawaki, aka Above. And this one up here is uh, Nikos. Slutty Buddy is what I wanted to say. That's his Instagram. but he's from uh, Geneva, I believe. So, 
on, man. Pretty good. So that's Anthony Lister. You guys might have heard about him. He's kind of in the news these days. So we won't get into that. And Mr. Ben Frost. And that's our space shuttle, AKA Jean-Claude Dan Van. This one's dirt. That is almond. Let's go into the studio. Oh yeah, just so you know. So yes, this is our trusty steed. This will actually be at movement and we're gonna build wings for it and it's gonna be a crash space shuttle kind of slammed into the ground. And like I said, whenever that happens, that will happen. So this is our studio, the back door. Anyways, come in through here and see our guard dog. And this is where we make everything. Yeah, where was I? Okay, so we like to paint here and we paint a lot. And here are some of the paintings that we're working on right now. As you can see, if I can get this into work. We like to paint multiples. So like painting one painting is fun, but we like to do a lot. And that guy right there is our laser cutter who helps us cut out different shapes and different things like that. And then we paint them and assemble them. And yeah, so lots of tools here, lots of different additions going on. And some of these are kind of hybrids. So they're like stenciling, screen printing, all different types of stuff. And then you see the finished product. So these ones were sold by 1X Run, and those are gonna be on their way out the door soon, Monday. So we have lots of different, these are all kind of like things we're working on, different, different stages of production. And I really hope this gives you an idea of kind of what we do around here. So, but we do lots of prints. We produce all our prints in house. Some of our screen prints we do here, some we send out, and there's kind of a pile of things I want to paint. And there's another laser cutter over there that I gotta, we're gonna move that to my house, our house. But I wanna paint that couch soon. So yeah, we're really Detroit proud around here. Yeah, we're Canadian, but we love Detroit. And we've loved the festival for a long time, since when it was called Dempf. I don't know if you guys remember that, or if I'm aging myself, or, or what. So this is our front entrance. This place used to be called Baseline. I don't know if you old ravers remember Baseline in Windsor, but it was a record store, clothing store. So now, right now, we're temporarily closed, but we, we have a, a little storefront here where we sell different paint and markers and different art supplies and all of our own clothing that we screen print downstairs, which I'll get to. There's a collab with Detroit Hustles Harder. And these are the end tables that I'm working on. Kind of suiting right now. Guys, gonna get painted. This old uh, news box. Yeah, so that's a that's a bit of our upstairs of our studio. So another thing we use here is our plotter. So we're plotting out different uh, masks and stencils and to get different effects and stuff. And 
And this is where we design everything. Got to have a good workstation. Just got these new desks, a fancy desk, go up and down, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so this is what I'm going to be painting. Something like this. T we did it, this as a t-shirt for movement. And uh, we're now going to do a painting of it. It didn't get a chance to do the video that I wanted to do, which was creating this. And I'm going to, and you'll be able to see that on our Instagram, which is Denial Art. So if you want to follow us or check us out. So as you can see, I'll just show you some, some of the stencils. We made all the stencils and stuff for it, and we're gonna be doing it. So like, this is an example of some of the stencils and masks we use. And it's kind of like a hybrid of screen printing and stenciling that, I mean, as far as I know, I came, kind of came up with it just out of a necessity, basically, to make my process more, I guess, rapid and more, more efficient and be able to spread the, the work to people and, like, work with people on my artwork. Does that make any sense, Kate? Should we show them the basement? Uh, All right, we're going downstairs. And yes, we have colorful stairs. I wish that when I walk down these stairs, they lit up. It's another project. I'm still learning how to use this gimbal, so just bear with me. So we love neon too. We, so this is some of our neon that we did, we've done. And our secret bookcase. Gotta turn on all the lights. All right, so this is the room where we do a lot of prints. It's kind of our clean room. So we do make all of our own stickers here and our own G clay prints. We're out of paper apparently. But this is our, our friend the Epson. So yeah, as you can see we got some different things. It's like paper cutter, different trimmers. But this is basically the clean room so that because the studio can get pretty messy upstairs. And this is our so this is kind of like our shipping room, I guess, and packing room and storage for like finished pieces of art. A bunch of different paintings here. So these guys are going for sale tomorrow with One X Run. So these old like paintings that I painted over. This is our paint supply. We gotta have lots of paint. We need lots of paint. Lots of colors, lots of paint. So we have about 200 different colors that we work with. And we love Montana paint. That's the brand. It's just a really good high-end quality paint. These are some different pieces that we're working on for a show in Montreal. Probably later in the year now. Got postponed. Oh, almost stopped. This guy, like making it different, they like making things here, weird things. All right, next stop. So this is our kind of supply room. And we just store lots of different things that are gonna be things, or, you know. Things made out of things, that's what we love to do. So this is our screen printing studio area. And uh, so this is a big screen printing table right here and drying racks. And there's a couple different tables over here that we built. They're vacuum tables. So you have to kind of vacuum your, your item or thing that you're screen printing on so it doesn't mess up. And this is our t-shirt press. So we do all that, all our own shirts we do here. 
And that's like kind of a big thing for us is that we try to make as much of what we do and create in house. Just it helps us to employ people around here and our friends and just kind of keep our our money and our our energy kind of into our own community. And that's kind of why we do things like that around here. They all know. So this is kind of like a maze in here, but right now our, our friend is using this storage room thingy to make his music. So he's a musician and he's been working here for a while. But other than that, it's kind of more storage of different art and projects that we've worked on. So yeah, I mean, I think that's it for in here. <laughs> What are you doing in there? Oh yeah, Kate's in the bathroom. So yeah, I really hope this wasn't too boring or anything, but like I said, check us out on Instagram, Denial Art, and you'll be able to see us make this painting. Into, and we're gonna do like a video of it. So you guys can see. So I'm just gonna show you the front of our, our shop, studio. And then I think we're about done. Can't wait to open these doors again. So yeah. This is our little neighborhood. It's very empty right now. And this is our studio. 510. We like to keep it interesting and make it kind of strange looking for, for people to look at and By appointment only. All right, well, it's very loud out here, so sorry about that. But yeah, this is our studio, and thank you for checking it out with us. And I am gonna upload this video before Rula kills me. All right, well, that's it. And thank you guys for checking this out. I hope it was somewhat interesting. And say bye, Kate. Bye, Kate. <laughs> Here, take that. Okay. So I can leave. Bye. You can focus on yourself.